in this uh, video we will understand the packaging of DNA. Now we have uh, already seen that the DNA length in human genome is about 2.2 meters. DNA in human genome is about 2.2 meters. Now, how is that length 2.2 meters? Because we know that in human genome, the base pairs are about 3 billion and between the two consecutive base pairs, the gap is about 3.4 angstroms, which was given by Watson and Crick. So if we do this calculation, we come to this 2.2 meter length of DNA on one genome. One genome is haploid set of chromosomes. How come this such a long DNA is situated on those, if we are talking of human beings here, then 23 chromosomes. We know that the cells are very, very tiny structures, microscopic structures. In these cells, the nucleus is even smaller. And in that small nucleus, how come such a long thread or DNA is fitted? And that is possible because of the packaging. How exactly this DNA is packaged? A scientist would or, or would talk showed that there are repeated thickenings in the chromatin fibers. He said there are thickenings in chromatin fibers. So when we normally draw the chromatin fiber, we simply draw a thread. And when this chromatin fiber starts to condense to become an actual chromosome-like structure, we find that there are these thickenings which are visible if we enlarge this chromatin fiber. One such thickening is actually a nucleosome. So what Odok was or Wodok, Wodok rather was talking about was these thickenings which we now know as nucleosomes. The term nucleosome was given by audit. He actually gave this term. Each nucleosome is made up of histone octomer and DNA which is wrapped around it. So now let us talk about the detailed structure of nucleosome and that is what we are talking about the packaging. nucleosome. Each nucleosome has histone proteins. Histone proteins are rich in lysine and arginine amino acids. This is again very important thing about histone proteins. Histone proteins are positively charged. DNA is negatively charged and histone proteins are positively charged. Now, there are four histone proteins. Four histone proteins. These histone proteins are H2A, H2B, H3, H4 and all of them are 2 in number. So if all of them are 2, then we get 8 histones. That means 2 of these, 2 of these, 2 of all 4. So that is why it is known as histone octomer. So this 8 is actually the histone octomer. And that is why nucleosomes are many a times written as V8. There is one more term which is given to nucleosomes. They are also known as new bodies. But the most common term is nucleosome. Now let us see how exactly these 
uh, histone proteins arranged and how the DNA is wrapped around it. Suppose these are the proteins that we are talking of. This is H2A. Behind this, there is again one more that is H2A. This is H2B. Behind it is one more H2B. This is H3 which is in the front and behind it again one more H3 and H4 and one more H4 behind it. It is like four balls which are there and these balls are wrapped around by DNA molecule. So now this DNA strand is wrapped around it. So this is the DNA strand that we are talking of and it goes like this. So this DNA is actually divided into two parts. One part which is not the uh, one which is surrounding these histone proteins. This is the one which is known as core DNA. This core DNA has approximately 146 base pairs and the DNA because here there is again going to be an octomer and here also again an octomer. So this DNA which is between one octomer and the core and the other one is known as linker DNA and this linker DNA has approximately 60 base pairs. Now if we imagine that there are eight balls these histone proteins as eight balls and we try to hold all these eight together by wrapping a ribbon like thing around it as soon as we leave that ribbon or that string it's going to open and all these balls are going to fall apart so there has to be a clamp kind of a thing which holds all these structures together so on top of it there is actually one more histone protein which is called H1 but we said this histone proteins which are there there were eight and whenever we talk of uh, nucleosomes when we say it is histone octomer and the DNA around it we are actually not talking about this H1 the reason is when DNA gets inherited H1 is not inherited and that is why it is not considered as a part of the nucleosome so when we say nucleosome, what are we going to include is histone, octomer plus DNA. And in DNA, we will include core as well as linker. So this is core plus linker, both. This is what is the nucleosome. And H1 is only acting as a clamp. DNA that is the core we are talking of which is wrapped around it. Now it takes one three fourth turn around this histone octomer. What is meant by this one three fourth turn? Suppose we start wrapping something from here then it goes this completes one turn and if it comes here and ends then this is one and a half. If it takes like one turn half and little more and then separates then we say it takes one three fourth or we can also call it 1.75 turns so the core dna takes one three fourth or 1.75 turns around the histone octomer this number is again very important so now what exactly is there? Histone octomer, which four types? H2A, two in number, H2B, two in number, H3, H4, both two in number. So that makes the histones as eight in number. And that is why we are using the term histone octomer. And around it, the DNA is wrapped. Here, again, there would be one more histone octomer and this DNA would again go around it. So this is how the actual structure is formed. That means if we draw this here, it will be something like this. It goes like this. 
So this is a nucleosome, DNA wrapped around histone proteins, again DNA wrapped around. So when Woodock said that there are thickenings, actually these thickenings are nothing but the DNA which is going around like this. And between these coils of DNA is present the histone octomer. So packaging of DNA, when we say such a long DNA is present in a compact nucleus, then the arrangement or packaging is in the form of nucleosomes, which are also known as VA or new bodies. The name of the scientist who gave the term is Ordex.